morning friends in the previous discussions we have discussed about the rankine cycle that how it works so today in this class we are going to discuss the enthalpy the work done of turbine the work done of pump and the cycle efficiency so before calculating all this we need to calculate the enthalpy at different point that uh, first of all how the enthalpy can be calculated how the enthalpy can be calculated at point 2 at point 3 at point 4 and at point 1 so i have already mentioned that point 2 to 3 point 2 to 3 is the isentropic work done isentropic work done means to say that here the entropy remains constant from point 2 to 2 to 2 to 3 so the turbine is totally insulated there is no chance of any losses in case of turbine so 2 to 3 first of all here it is entropy will be s1 sorry s2 is equal to s3 s2 is equal to s3 means the entropy remains constant s s2 can be directly calculated from the steam table so how it is calculated from the steam table the given question uh, there may be the question that uh, is given in the question uh, that Mm, the steam enters the turbine at 30 bar and 400 degree centigrade so corresponding to this we will be able to calculate the value of s2 and h2 s2 and h2 can be obtained from the steam table h2 is simple here we are able to see that the point 2 lies beyond the saturation curve saturation curve is this one saturation curve and hence it is superheated steam and the enthalpy of superheated steam can be calculated so s3 can be simple s3 is equal to sf plus sfg sf plus x3 x3 into sf plus x3 into sfg so sf and sfg the value of sf and sfg can be calculated from the steam table at Point three. Point three means to say the condenser pressure. Condenser pressure will be given in the question. S F and S F G from the steam table. So after calculating the value of Brannis fraction, H uh, two can be calculated. And H two is simple. Uh, sorry, S three can be calculated. S three is simple. It is H F plus H F plus X three into H F plus X three into H F G. so hf and hfg hf and hfg can be calculated from the steam table at point 3 again point 3 is the condenser pressure and x3 uh, is have already calculated from the uh, entropy uh, isentropic entropy isentropic expansion so s2 is equal to s3 uh from uh, isentropic expansion point of view x3 can be easily calculated now h3 is equal to h plus x3 into hfg h4 can be calculated as it will be equal to hf because it lies on the saturated liquid line so h4 is equal to hf and the value of hf can be calculated from steam table at condenser pressure now uh how to calculate point 1 uh, that means h1 h1 can be calculated from the pump work that is h1 minus h4 h1 minus h4 is equal to pb minus pc is equal to pb minus pc divided by 10 here in this equation pb and pc should be in bar and uh, h4 is equal to hf and h1 can be calculated now the efficiency can be written as w net divided by q in where w net is equal to wt where w net is equal to wt divided by wt is equal to h2 minus h3 and wp is equal to h1 minus h4 heat supplied will be heat supplied will be h2 minus h1 so easily efficiency can be calculated